Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional video for June 26, 2018. Our passage for today is in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. Then Peter got down out of the boat and walked on the water to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. I love that passage. The title for today's devotional is Taking Risks of Faith. Have you ever taken a risk in your obedience to God? Perhaps he's given you an assignment that strikes you as beyond your abilities. Demonstrating faith in God may appear to be risky business, but it's actually the safest thing to do. Furthermore, it's the way the Lord expects his followers to live. Can you imagine what the other disciples thought when Peter stepped out of the boat? It seemed like a crazy thing to do. Yet Peter trusted that Jesus would keep him from sinking into the raging water. And Peter did a pretty good job of walking on the water until he took his eyes off Jesus. As long as his total focus was on Christ, he was fine. Yet when he allowed himself to be distracted by human fears, he fell deep into trouble, literally. This demonstrates an important principle. When doubts prevent us from obeying God, we are doomed to failure. But when we step out in faith, God always assumes full responsibility for the consequences of our obedience. The story of Peter's walk on the sea teaches us three things. First, God will lead us into challenging situations that call us to walk by faith. Two, Christ stands ready to rescue us when we cry out to him. Three, the Spirit of God will never let us fall beyond his reach. I love that. Are you facing a situation that requires full trust in the Lord as you step out in obedience to him? The real risk lies in your temptation not to obey him. Keep your eyes on the Heavenly Father, and he'll see you safely to the other side. I love that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this. Hope you have a blessed day today, and hope to see you back here again tomorrow.